My name is Laurent Schnauer. I'm co-founder of Fly. I'm really passionate about new technologies and I naturally fell in love with drones when I first met them a few years ago. I'm convinced that in the future we'll have flying robots around us helping us in our daily lives. But before that, we must overcome a few challenges, in particular with respect to safety and usability. So what we did at Fly is to go back to the drawing board and invent the flying robot of the future. It had to be safe, robust and with a great user experience. We've been hacking around in my attic for about a year, building prototypes out of bells of wood and DIY electronics. And after many, many trials, Fly eventually stayed in the air and proved to us that it was uh, all possible. So based on this, we managed to convince uh, Pierre Loest, who is a famous Belgian uh, entrepreneur, but also a talented drone pilot. He became really enthusiastic about the project and decided to invest. When I saw the first time Fly, I immediately realized that it was not a drone. C'est comme un dessin de Da Vinci ou de Spielberg qui prend en réalité de monde. Prenez Fly en main et vous comprendrez pourquoi j'ai décidé d'investir dans ce projet. What makes Fly Design so innovative? It's made of a single shielded propeller for control built for stability. It has the same size and weight of a soccer ball, it's packed with sensor, a powerful onboard computer, the HD camera and a Wi-Fi connection. We want it fly to be smart and autonomous, so you don't have to be always piloting. You can select a simple mission through the mobile app and just enjoy the live stream. Fly is a lot of fun to play and interact with, but it's more than a toy. It's really a platform on which you invent the future of flying robots. We have two APIs and an SDK which enables developers to create applications for controlling Fly remotely or one on the onboard computer. It runs Linux and supports the popular computer vision library OpenCV. You can make Fly autonomously detect and react to what it sees, like tracking someone or something in a room. Since when was coding this cool? Introducing the latest advancement in the field of fun. Meet CodyBot, designed by MakeBlock. This smart robot teaches kids the basics in computer programming using a simple graphic programming language similar to MIT's Scratch. You can give the robot a series of commands, then immediately see the magic happen. This provides a safe and easy introduction to the language and mindset of computer programmers. In free play mode, you can just start playing. Every spin, grin, dance, and silly voice coding is fun. naturally teaches coding skills. You can customize CodyBot in so many ways, or pair two CodyBots together for battle mode. May the best CodyBot win. CodyBot is an open platform to learn, explore, and discover. Equip your child with the fundamentals they need to thrive in the age of robotics with CodyBot. Let's program the fun. Hi, I'm Jason, founder and CEO of MakeBlock. We worked with the Kickstarter community before and received such great input that we have finally created a robot that is fun for everyone. Our mission is to lower the entry barrier for making things and to help and inspire people to turn their ideas into reality. Robots are a very important route to education. If you want to get kids into STEM subjects, then it has to be through something fun enough for kids to be willing to learn while playing. That's nothing like robots. By backing us now, you can join us and be one of the first to bring CodyBot home. Since when was coding this cool? We design a smart toy for kids ages four and up. When they're four, kids like images and start to think logically, want to know more and discover the world around them. This toy doesn't need any coding knowledge nor reading, and it's so easy for kids to start playing with. This is a programmable robot set. Kids can use the blocks to build any command right on the board. Just hit the big button and the control tower will get the instructions and move the robot on the map. 
The coating blocks are the core of this toy. Simply connect the blocks, they get the robot moving, composing music, and even drawing. Kids can make complete programs by using loops, functions, and other coding concepts. All done hands-on practice without any screen. Matata Adventurer. With different maps available, kids explore their way to complete the journeys. Along with different difficulty levels, easy to advance, kids can finish the tasks alone or compete with other friends. Matata Musician. By simply selecting and arranging the music notes and beats, the robot could sing accordingly. Matata Drawing. Use basic information of geometry and the robot will draw creative drawings. Kids can make art with robots. What's more, we'll add kids' favorite clay, paper craft, and 3D printing to the robot sets. Kids can create their dream world and tell their own stories. We are still growing and creating more fun ways to play. We invite kids in the age of 4 to 9 in communities and schools to try. They say that this is an amazing and easy to play coding toy. We want to help all kids to easily discover the world of coding and robots, to develop computational thinking skills and enjoy the fun offered by modern technology. Matata Lab, coding like ABC. These days, everyone wants their child to learn to code, but getting started with programming can be boring and require a lot of background knowledge. We wanted to change this, so we decided to develop a fun and engaging way to learn robotics something that anyone with any background could do with their children. We call it the Go Box. It comes with an easy to use robot, the GoPi Go. It's based off the Raspberry Pi and includes lots of fun activities and add-ons that teach young learners the basics of computer science and robotics. With Go Box, you and your child can learn robotics and programming together from the beginning. Learning robotics on your own can be frustrating, so Go Box has activities that walk you through the basics. The directions assume nothing and explain everything from setup to making motors run to programming your robot step by step. With a lot of subjects, kids lose interest partway through. With GoBox, you get a new activity every month to keep your children engaged and excited. Each activity has a fun story in the form of a mission that your child completes by building and programming a robot. Coding and programming can be intimidating, so we're using Scratch, a great beginner language developed at MIT for young programmers. We think the most effective way to get kids to learn how to code is to build something real, something that moves, like a robot, not just on a computer screen. And the only thing holding back most learners is a compelling and creative program to get them started. A year ago, we developed the GoPi Go, this little robot based on the Raspberry Pi. Since then, it's been used by thousands of people who've become part of a thriving and creative community, sharing all kinds of ideas and projects, and giving us tons of feedback. We've taken this feedback to redesign it to be easier to assemble, more durable, and a lot more fun to use. We have an experienced team of educators, parents, illustrators, and engineers working to put together an engaging sequence of activities for learning robotics. We've already started testing these lessons with parent-child teams to make sure they're fun and accessible at every skill level. And we know what we're doing. Our company has over five years of experience delivering hardware projects, including three successful Kickstarters. For what ends up being less than $30 a month, you get a year's worth of monthly robotics projects you can do with your children in a weekend. Each month, you'll get a project package with a new robot sensor and a beautifully designed set of instructions with examples and links to helpful videos. The GoBox engages both sides of the brain, getting girls and boys to think about solutions to real-world problems while letting their creative side shine. Our biomimicry lesson, for instance, lets you configure your GoPi Go to not only look like an animal if you're choosing, but act like it as well, using a light sensor and custom programming. I love doing the GoPi Go, and I can't wait for the next mission. Oh, it was easy. You plug it in, right? You get the sensor, you get to plug it in, and strap it down. Uh, it, was, it was very fun. Great way to spend the afternoon doing something educational.
When I was young, I loved taking things apart and modifying my toy robots. Things often broke because I was pushing them to their limits. Now I'm a grown-up, nothing has changed. I still modify robots and still pull things apart. But now I can design robots and controllers which can be pushed to their limits. Introducing the Thunderborg motor controller and Monsterborg robot. The Thunderborg motor controller can easily drive two DC motors from your Raspberry Pi. It works with a huge variety of motors of different sizes, so it's perfect for almost any robotics project, even really ambitious ones. We thought this would make a fantastic heart for a more powerful robot, so we designed the off-road, four-wheel drive Monsterborg. Not just an RC car, it can be programmed to be self-driving, follow a set of instructions, or even be controlled from a remote computer from anywhere around the world. It's extremely robust which makes it a great foundation for all kinds of projects. For both Monsterborg and Thunderborg we have loads of Python examples and even OpenCV code you can download. These are great regardless of whether you're just getting started or you're trying to get your robots doing really cool things. We also provide ample support for your robotics projects via our forum so you won't end up getting stuck. We have prototypes in final stages and this Kickstarter will help us start production of the Monster Ball. So please chip in so we can keep making awesome robots. We really appreciate your support.